Hey everybody, I'm back. Chris Randall here. Chris Randall, Christopher, hyphen Randall.com. I uh, wanted to show you real quick. I came home today and I realized uh, I had fixed this Outlook 2013 icon to be more distinguishable from the word 2013. I don't know where Microsoft was thinking, but they made, uh, if you've used 2013, you know that Outlook and, um, and Word look uh, pretty similar. They're both blue now. And we've been using Outlook as a yellow icon for yellow gold, whatever you want to call it, for over 10 years. So why they changed it, I don't know. But there is a way to go into the properties and change the icon right here to be what you want to be. But my wife today uh, now decided to go and move the files around. So where I had it at um, under here, under images, um, I had a I had it under icons high in a higher level and she deleted it. I don't know why. So anyway, what I'm going to do is find an icon over the web and I'm going to put it in this icon folder and then I'm going to tell 2013 to pull from that. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do, let me open up Chrome and let's do MS Office or let's do MS Outlook 2013 icon. And you're going to come up, oh, I'm going to do images. Images. So you're going to come up with uh, several different, uh, oh, shoot, it's bringing up, uh, it's bringing up a lot of, this is what the icon for 2013 look, looks like. Let's just do MS Office Outlook icon. I don't want that blue thing. Okay, so uh, here you're going to get a variety of different uh, data or pieces of data pool. Uh, I like the soft icons. They're, they're pretty safe to go with. Uh, let's see if there's one that uh, I can show you. It, you know, it, basically, if you don't pull one down, if you pull a JPEG or if you pull a PNG, it won't work. You have to find something that is an icon. And I know these guys give me icons, so I'm just going to go to this uh, this one here. I know it's Softicons. Uh, Softicons dot here. I'm going to click on it. Now it's going to be at Softicons dot com. This icon for Microsoft Outlook, and I can download the ICO file. It takes me to this page, and I just hit uh, Save Image As. And now I know it's Microsoft Outlook. Here's the thing you want to look for icon. You don't want it to be JPEG. You don't want it to be PNG. You don't want it to be JIF. I mean, GIF, sorry. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just save it. Um, let's see. Show the folder. Where are you at? What the heck is she set up today? Man, I never know what she's doing with my computer here. Um, so let's see. Let's move that uh, icon into the icon folder. And now let's go to Outlook 2013, my shortcut, go to Properties, Change Icon, it'll tell me I can't find it. I'm going to browse for the new one, which means I'm going to go to my E drive, and then go down to Web Design, and Images, Miscellaneous, Icons, and you can see it shows up. If it won't take it, if it's a PNG, GIF, or uh, JPEG, it just won't show up. So I'm hit Microsoft Outlook there, hit OK, hit OK, and voila. Got a uh, yellow 20 uh, office icon distinguishable uh, from the, uh, the word now. So appreciate you watching. If you uh, have any questions on it, just leave them in the comments and I can update this as necessary. Thank you all for watching.